voy para Mayarí. Puerto Centro voy para Macané, llego a Puerto voy para Mayarí. El cariño que te tengo, yo no Bienvenidos a Cuba. Mojito, Mojito, voy para Mayarí. Cuando Juanita y Chan Chan en el mar se tenían arena, como sacudí el jibe, a Chan Chan le da. So I'm here alone. I'm in the hotel room. In about a half hour, I'll uh, hop on to uh, a local bus for five kook, five bucks, about seven bucks Canadian, uh, into the town of Veradero, where I will find the Via Azul bus station. That's the uh, uh, the domestic uh, bus lines, intercity bus lines. Ten kook will bring me from Ver uh, Veradero to Havana. Um, so it'll cost me 15 kook to uh, do it the long way. It's going to be a slow, hard bus ride. It's not going to be as comfortable as one of the Gaviota uh, Chinese buses that we've been taking all around. Uh, but it's going to be 10 kook cheaper, about, you know, 14 bucks cheaper, which, you know, every little bit counts. And I'm going back to my backpacking, uh, backpacking days. Anyhow, I have about a half hour before the bus comes. Uh, I have enough time to eat. Have a big, huge breakfast here. I'll be good until lunch. Uh, and I'm off to Centro or maybe Vidado, Habana, uh, where I'll spend the next uh, six, seven nights, as long in Habana as we spent in Bear Girl. All right, so here we go, loaded for bear. Um, I am admittedly a little heavier than I'd like to be solo packing, but I insisted on bringing the tripod, so I gotta put it to use or the girl will never la let it down. She'll le never let me live it down. Off we go, Habana, baby. So fun fact, if you can see me, is that uh, there's been a power outage on this last day here. What up? Luckily everything is bright and open and they got some emergency power, so hey, we're okay. Elevators work. I'm gonna budge through the line here. Excuse me. This is the lineup for money changing. This is for me. I have this uh, travel thing where I send myself a postcard from every city location I've been to. That's for mom and dad in Toronto. And now, we are off. Alright, so bye-bye. Ibero Star, Laguna Azul. But places like this are really designed for groups. So if you got a group of friends that come here, you're going to have a blast. We did. Dinner out every night, beach, pool time, games at, after after supper. But for you know a couple, I'm not sure I'd come here. If you want to be pampered, I'm told, and I've never been there, but I'm told that Mexico offers better quality for at least the same price. <laughs> So I'm in a taxi, and there are a couple of friends in the back there. David and Sandra. Hello, David and Sandra. Say what? Well, I guess this deserves a bit of an explanation, doesn't it? There were two options open to me to get to Havana. 
The first was to buy a ticket on the Gaviota bus line. Gaviota is the state-owned tourist agency and they pick up tourists from all around Veradero to take them for their required day trip into Havana. They pick you up at your resort, they drop you off 14 hours later, they make a couple of stops along the way which makes for a not direct trip but in about four hours or so I'd be in downtown Havana and on my own. The downside is that it costs about 25 kook, 33 or 34 dollars Canadian. The other option was to travel like a local. There's an intercity bus system called the Via Sol, and they take people between all the major towns and cities. There are two buses daily from Veradero into Havana, and they cost about 12 kook, or about half the price. The downside is that they're on rickety old buses, really uncomfortable seats, questionable uh, suspension, and no air conditioning, and they take anywhere from four to six hours. Plus, I'd have to find my way into Veradero, which would cost another five kook. But it gives you the chance to travel like a local and maybe meet some people, and I'm told it was more scenic. But before the double-decker came around, I managed to flag down a taxi with a couple of people in it. I was hoping to maybe save a couple of kook and share the ride into Veradero with them, but I found out that they were headed into Havana. So I flashed a smile and asked them very politely if they wouldn't mind if I shared their taxi into Havana, and they most graciously said, yes, of course. And so that's how I got onto a taxi from the doorstep of my resort directly into downtown Havana for free. So I'm in a taxi, and there are a couple of friends in the back there, are David and Sandra. Hello, David Zaha. They were very nice enough to allow me to come in their cab on the way from uh, from Veradero to Cuba or to Havana. And uh, this is Julio. Julio. Julio Gonzalez Gonzalez. Julio Cesar Gonzalez Gonzalez. Our cab driver here. Didn't want any money? They just said no, no pay, no pay. So Mr. Julio will get a new tip here. This is the best way to travel. Air conditioned front seat taxi. No car sick, no bus sick, and fast, less than two hours. Are you a YouTuber? 